Now, new money is a concept that stands in contradiction in many of the in many of the cases to old money, where new money is the type of person that has never had money before, doesn't come out of a family that had generations of money before him, and uh, hasn't been taught how to work with money. Those people are comparable to the current government officials in the African National Congress, or the ANC, uh, and um, the old money in South Africa, unfortunately because of apartheid and the previous way things worked, is still the white people in South Africa, and thus they are wiser with working with money, when working with money. Now the problem is, how do you overcome the problem of government not being able to look after the poor people anymore because they have now become rich themselves and greedy and don't care anymore about the poor people and actually wants to forget about them. Do you have any idea how w one can solve that problem? Mm, as I said, was, uh, I think the, um, it's, it's education. The education, the, but the, I tell you, uh, even if they're educated for the first time in South Africa or, Afri or African history in such a great amount as currently happening and have happened for 20 years in South Africa, they're all still new money. Mm -hmm. They still work with money as if it is something to spend, not something to conserve. Mm -hmm. um, they think more of short-term gain than of long-term gain. They don't care about what's going to happen tomorrow if they don't deliver services today. As long as they can just have their expensive parties have their big cars and big houses and drink their expensive wines. They don't care about the poor people. And in conjunction to that, you find the old money way of thinking, where you think about your own future indirectly by... Um, but trying to pull the people around you into um, a higher standard of living and thus not antagonizing a large group of people like this new money fat cat corrupt ANC politicians are doing currently. So you don't have an answer. No, to to that problem, you don't think you don't you don't yeah. you don't you don't think you can think of a, an answer now. The people must just the government must. I mean, they must work together, and uh, uh, I think they're working together, but their yeah. goals are not set on actually solving poverty. They uh, they are more trying to conserve their own wealth. That's always what happened to... Uh, Extreme cases is Mugabe in yeah. Zimbabwe. Yeah. Robert Mugabe and his cronies. Yeah, it's what happened. Do you think the ANC is on the way to a Mugabe type state? Mm. Possibly. The, 
ANC not because I think the ANC the the, the, the in this is, is still some clever people. Uh, you think there are people in the ANC that still have large influence uh, on, on on the decisions that's been made by the ANC? Yeah, yeah, still some the wise people. Wise people in the ANC. But now, can I ask you an interesting question in yeah, context? Yeah. What do you think about Judas Malema? Mm -hmm. And the future of South Africa involving Judas Malema? Give us your opinion. What do you think? Tell us what you see for South Africa in the future if Julius Malema is part of the picture. For me, Julius Malema is not a politician. It's I mean it's it's someone is they they, they, they they used to use him they used to use him to do some, some mm. type of job, you know. You remember who used to use him? You remember um I would say um President Zuma used to use Julius Malema before to when he was still president yeah. of the NC Youth League. Yeah, so I think Julius Ma is not a politician. He's I don't know how can I call him, but he, he, he don't even deserve to to have a party, you know. But yeah, it's a democracy. So, but he's not a politician. He's it's someone someone else. He, he should be. He should not be in politics, you know. Where where should he be? Where do you think mm. he will actually contribute in a positive way to society? In what type of context? He should go and be even a policeman, you know. Or, or a policeman. Yeah, he should be in the police or stuff. Uh, like or the army, the, maybe become a general army. in the army. Yeah, not in, not even. In so you think he's too robust and too aggressive to be? Pragmatic. Yeah, you should go to army and, and, and serve the country in in, in that type of uh, position, the army or, or police. You need guys like him, you know, who who come and can talk, then say all this nonsense. Mm. But he should decide the future of the country. No, 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 not at all. He's not a politician for me. He's that's interesting the way you see it. I, I could, in a certain sense, maybe agree with you that he shouldn't be in politics yeah. and um, that he's a very aggressive guy, yes, and that army guys are normally very aggressive. But compare, for instance, the United States of America's army and their generals to um, South Africa or other African countries' armies and generals. Uh, you know, <laughs> Do you see a difference? It, 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 America, it's it's um, it's different. We can't compare America and Africa uh, because you can't compare it. And I'm trying to compare it now. I'm asking you a question. Uh, what do you see? Um, well, firstly, if you look at generals in the army, the generals mm -hmm. of the army and the air force and the and the and the um, and, and and the the, the different contexts in the in the in the army and context of America. Because in America, to be do you see aggressive guys there at all, like Julius Malema? Yeah, of course. Who? In, in this, 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 this many general in, in, yeah, in the American army, army that that do what Malema does. No, no, no. The difference is it's. Even in the army in America, the, the people are well educated, you know. Yeah, they are. They are well educated. They, are, they don't take anyone, you know. Yeah. They, so, so the, the generals in the army in America don't have this robust, aggressive attitude. They they do live according to some sort of discipline, right? Of course. Did Do you think Jesus Lima is undisciplined? Yeah. It's and and how do you think he will become disciplined? 
or should you become disciplined? What do you think is the solution? How can you or us or or, or the world uh, make use of such a well extremely powerful force such as Julius Malema uh, and have a positive outcome? No, it, it won't be easy because it's. I think I'm worried. If you put him in the army in South Africa, what if you get a coup d'état? Yeah, uh, that's what, what. What? What if he overtakes the government and makes South Africa a um, a military state, like Mugabe sort of did, like your country did? Mm. Your president at the moment is a tyrant that originally for his second term came into power by a coup, with a coup d'etat not being generally elected and he is an old general of the Congo army, right? Yeah. So that's a good comparison to make. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that's the solution? Mm, no, not. Uh, so, so, so you retract, you pull back what you said about Jason having to be in the army. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Not, it doesn't matter. I'm just not, asking. Not even in the politics because it's yeah. But where where should it be? Uh, well, let's let's consider for a while that he shouldn't be in jail. I think he should be in jail. But let's consider the the possibility that there is a place in society where him. he will contribute to society and not be a problem for everyone. Where will that be? Not in politics. Maybe in the police. But how is the police different from the army? It's the same no, thing. No, no, it's, it's different. The police, the yeah, it's different, but it's still a very powerful structure with weapons and he can still do good at all. Maybe, maybe, no, no, maybe the police. The police? Yes, yeah. The police are, are, are specifically working with the civilians of a country, of its own country. They should be less harsh than the army. The army is mainly focused on a threat from outside, an already big threat. Mm-hmm. That should be more aggressive. So you have to choose between the police and the army. It should be the army. No, than the police. It was the army. Army. I don't agree. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Jesus Malema has no place in society. He's like Adolf Hitler or Stalin. <laughs> they first he should have never been born. They they are they are so so rugged and aggressive and. Yeah, but you know, they, unnatural in a certain sense that they shouldn't be part of society. They should be kept in close, contained areas where they can't influence other people. Yeah, the, the thing is, there's, there's plenty of people like 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 him in the society, but the, the in South Africa, everywhere, the, 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 only the, plenty of people like Malema. Of course, they don't get chance to 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 to, to be in uh, power or, or stuff like that. You know. There's plenty of people like everywhere. Like you said, they should not be giving but those positions. <laughs> where do you get your facts from? Do you just say this because you believe it, or? <coughs> no, I see people. Like, 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 I, see, I see. You see people like Malema everywhere. Yeah, yeah, of course. Where? Everywhere, where he, where he works. Even, where you work? Yeah, where he work. There's the people who argue with him, with them, but you, you can see this, this, this guy, this type of, this guy. The, the xenophobic type. Yeah, not even the, 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 the people who argue, but you can see the, the, this one. If you can, you can get the power, you become dangerous. Or, or, you see. So I think there's 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 many <coughs> people like that, but they, they they don't have, they just don't have. That opportunity to 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 be in the, in the power, or, or they're not they're not having that opportunities. So the Jewish Malim have been get giving some opportunity, and he, that's why he's doing this. So you you blame the ANC for giving that opportunity? Of course. Do you think the ANC has learned from their mistake? <coughs> because they are opposed to him at the moment. Not even the ANC, the, 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 the president of Zuma. Yeah, the Zuma faction. Yeah. 
So you think there are some people in the NC as well that are still pro Malema? No. You don't think no. there are? No, I don't think. Because you can see, you can see, it's, it's it's even fighting, it's even fighting them as well. It's, yeah, but if he fights them, it doesn't matter. That it's fighting everyone who 